In nearby St. Johnsbury, road washouts and other damage left dozens of people stranded and impacted a range of municipal services. NBC5 Sid Bule is live at the St. Johnsbury School. And Sid, that building was one of many in the kingdom that were really hit hard this morning. That's right, Jack. This school actually is usually an emergency overnight shelter when we have flood damage here in St. Johnsbury. However, today that is not the case. The flood actually came over the sidewalk in front of the school right through the front doors and it also impacted some of the land around the school grounds too. The town of St. Johnsbury woke up to major flash flood damages Tuesday morning. We're uh, looking for whatever help we can get. Um, we've got a good control over things. We've got good crews between our fire police dispatch and our public works crews. Um, but it's 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 a little tiring, um, but we're, we're um, confident that we can handle whatever comes at us. So. The intersection of Concord and Gilman Avenue completely washed away. Neighbors say it's the worst they've seen, even with recent rounds of rain. Uh, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, it weren't nothing compared to this. this is 10 times worse. You know, like, yeah, it was bad seeing the road washed out, but it, this is bad. Over on Farmer Drive, the neighborhood was essentially cut in half thanks to washouts. I got up to just check on things, and I came out, and the water was coming through the garage. This was all washed out, and it was flowing into our basement. It was nonstop rain for, you know, three, four hours. Mm -hmm. VTRANS BUSY REPAIRING LANDSLIDES AND WASHOUTS ON ROUTE 2 FROM ST. J TO LINDENVILLE. BUT SOME TYPICAL EMERGENCY RESOURCES BECAME CASUALTIES OF THE FLOODWATERS THEMSELVES. ONE OF OUR SHELTER LOCATIONS WAS FLOODED, uh, THE TOWN SCHOOL, um, WHICH IS TYPICALLY WHERE WE WOULD GO SET UP AN OVERNIGHT SHELTER, SO OUR SECONDARY SHELTER IS AT THE GOOD SHEPHERD CENTER. TOWN OFFICIALS ARE ASKING RESIDENTS TO BE PREPARED TO REPORT DAMAGES TO THE STATE AS THEY CLEAN UP. Keep track of your damages. Don't wait. Start cleaning up. Take photographs. Document things. Um, obviously, if you're displaced or you need help, reach out to the fire departments, um, and we'll we'll get help to you. Now, the town's water treatment facility was actually struck by lightning earlier this morning. Town officials say that they're asking residents could, to conserve water while they can, since right now there's about enough water that's prepared for two days. Live in St. Johnsbury, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.